number three. Oh. Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. It is Tuesday, the day after the Hunter Biden deposition by his business partner to the Behind Closed Doors Committee on Oversight. And I guess Joe Biden likes to talk about the weather a lot with his son because there was a Representative Goldman, Gold, whatever his name is, out of New York City, who says that, well, it's not unusual. They get together and they just talk about the weather. So Hunter Biden in a room with all these businessmen who he's trying to shake down calls his dad on speed dial to show them that he has their undivided attention and that he can get a, a hold of his dad whenever he wants and his dad will give him whatever he wants. But they just talked about the weather and this idiot, this representative from New York City who must get his talking points directly from Joe Biden said all they do is talk about the weather. Amazing now, he must think that every one of his constituents just fell off the turnip truck. I, I, I don't understand how one man could be so stupid in front of a camera, speaking into a microphone, but this guy is. Unbelievable. Is it gonna cause Joe Biden to be impeached? You never know. They have to find the money, but it is showing one thing and one thing for sure. Joe Biden is a liar. He lied all his life. He's, he lied all the times that he said he knew nothing about his son's businesses. And now we know that's an out-and-out out lie. And they're going to find the money. But it's very, very tough when the cops, who are supposed to be looking for bad guys, are hired by the bad guys. And that's what's happened here. Joe Biden runs the Department of Justice, the FBI, the Secret Service. So the, instead of investigating him, guess who they're going after? Of course, the Donald. It was funny because after all of that that happened, after all the focus that was put on Hunter Biden's business partner testifying. They did a study. And on the news, on the front pages, 740 times Donald Trump was mentioned with his possible indictment in Georgia and whatever else they're trying to scam him on. And 40 times for Joe Biden. Amazing. So they still, still, have their swords out for Donald Trump. It must be, you know, it's amazing that when you're not part of their circle, what they try to do to kill you. This is just, he must have found out stuff there that was absolutely disgusting, tried to put a stop to it, and found out you can't do that. That's how these people make a living. Absolutely amazing. So I hope that the justice system prevails. And I was listening to an old-time radio show today something called Mr. District Attorney or something like that. And they got the guy, and the guy goes, how'd you get me, how'd you get me? He goes, well, we had a baker, we had a stewardess, we had a woman at the theater, just ordinary citizens. They, my friend, are the justice system in America, the ordinary citizens, and we are. So we have to make sure we keep our representatives accountable, we keep those in power accountable, we keep those in the justice system accountable. Every day we have to do something. Call, post your feelings, let them know what's going on because this is bad. This is the most corrupt president we've ever had. One of the most corrupt individuals we've ever had. And if he is, think about it, just use common sense, which nobody down there is doing, no Democrats doing. If he calls 20 or 30 times to talk about the weather, when his son is with businessmen. And he said he never asked his son about the business, never did anything like that. Either he's a liar or he's really stupid. Now we know he's a liar, but let's say he's not. Let's say he's true. You want him as President of the United States that has 
All those phone calls talk about the weather. What is he doing? Who's running this country? I would like to have a very, very nice conversation with Barack Obama. And what does he think now of Mr. Biden peddling influence in the Ukraine when he was vice president of the United States? I wonder what Barack would say. You think he would tell the truth? Maybe. They caught him once saying, you know, you never underestimate Joe Biden's ability to fuck things up. It's amazing. His own Secretary of Defense said Joe Biden's decisions made on foreign policy throughout his entire political career have been 100% wrong. And this is the President of the United States. Amazing. Hopefully, hopefully, we aren't, won't get tired of this and hopefully they'll find something, a money conflict, that all of a sudden we realize there are millions, multi-multi-millionaires on the back of the American people. And I just hope that no Americans have died because of the policies of the influence that this man exercised while in office. As you notice the beginning of this podcast, brief little snippet, Pee Wee Herman. I didn't know very much about Pee Wee Herman. I know he had the Pee Wee Herman show. He made a movie, Big Top Pee Wee. I saw him as a waiter in the Blues Brothers. But he's a unique character. And he brought smiles to faces. And you want to know something? When you're put to rest, if someone could say, you want to know something? He was a nice guy. He made me smile. My hat's off to Pee Wee Herman, a unique individual, a unique character. He played it to the hilt. But God bless you, Pee Wee. May you rest in peace. I hope, I hope you have a great, great eternal life. Watch the Howdy Boomy podcast, the Howdy Boomy show on the Howdy Boomy channel on YouTube. Go to thehowdyboomy.com, my website. Buy some products. I need the money. I love you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. God bless America.